It's Monday evening. You're hanging out by yourself, watching YouTube between Valorant games, when a message appears on Discord. Hey man, we need a sub for a tournament this weekend. You probably won't play, but is it okay if we sign you up? You answer, yeah, sure. Because, honestly, why not? Fast forward to Saturday, and the next thing you know, someone on the team flaked, and you find yourself in the first round of a tournament with virtually no practice, an agent pool that doesn't fit your team's comp, and very little tournament experience. Now imagine you're in the same situation, but there's a million dollars on the line. That's exactly what happened at Valorant Masters Tokyo 2023. For those unfamiliar with the Valorant Champions Tour, there are three big global tournaments that take place throughout the year. Two of these tournaments are the Valorant Masters tournaments. The winners of these tournaments earn $1 million and a trip to the World Championships. Unfortunately, running an international tournament can be hard, and often, players struggle to secure visas in time to compete. So what happens when your regular squad of five can't travel abroad? Well, you promote one of your substitutes. In the case of PRX, star duelist Ilya something Petrov was unable to travel to Tokyo, so they had to bring in their substitute, CGRS. Unfortunately, this particular sixth man had virtually no experience in professional Valorant. But that isn't the whole story. Patifan Cigarettes Posri is an FPS streamer from Thailand. So saying he has no experience is not entirely true. He was a CSGO player, PUBG streamer, and Apex Legends player, and found success in all three games. He's also Radiant and Valorant, the highest rank in the game. But when it was announced that he would be the sixth member of PRX's roster, even he didn't fully know why they chose him. After all, in Valorant, he's best known for being a Gecko main, a character rarely seen in competitive play, and has been called, more than once, a one-trick. Nonetheless, he was excited to have a working holiday in Korea, and Cigarettes enthusiastically joined PRX and changed his name to CGRS. Gaming. The new team found immediate success. After winning the Valorant Pacific League over DRX, PRX was invited to Valorant Masters Tokyo 2023. Unfortunately, their star duelist, Something, is a Russian national and couldn't procure his visa in time for the tournament. Thankfully, since they won the Pacific League, PRX got to skip the group stage and were seeded directly into the playoffs, meaning that they had some time to integrate CGRS into their roster. But there was a big question mark looming over the team. Would he straight up replace something and play a duelist? Or would he serve a more utilitarian purpose? Did he have the aim to compete with Demon 1, Buzz, or Kang Kang? Could he really fill something's shoes? And the biggest question of all, could he mesh with the team after only 10 days of practice? Luckily for CGRS, Valorant can be a pretty flexible game. There are no agent bans, and players frequently swap in between games. Most maps are flexible when it comes to team comps, and the only map that really has a meta composition is Ascent. Plus, PRX plays a certain playstyle called W Gaming, where they run two duelists, disregard their own safety, and W key their way onto sites. With this strategy, running a meta composition is not that important. Fast forward through the training montage, and their first opponent of the playoffs are DRX, the same team they beat in the Pacific League Finals. Unfortunately, in Game 1 on Split, CGRS decided to play Sky and proved that all that hard work didn't really pay off. He was missing flashes, missing heads, and dropped a whopping 6 kills in the first game. Thankfully, Jing, Mindfreak, and Forsaken stepped up for a combined 66 kills, carrying PRX to a 13-10 win. Moving on to Bind, CGRS has a chance to play his main, and right off the bat, gets a 3k in round one. Uh, CGRS, what a statement! Okay! I believe he's got half the amount of kills he got in the entirety of Split. <laughs> With what they're doing, I would imagine that if Paper X is going to pa play Bind, it's been something that they've been scrimming quite a bit and putting a serious focus on. Throughout the rest of the game, he collected 16 kills, and the team secured a handy 2-0 victory over DRX. CGRS, after getting the nerves out in Game 1, proved that he could be a reliable teammate and stand on his own. However, up next, they found themselves against Fnatic, the winners of Sao Paulo lock-in and probably the best team going into Masters Tokyo. PRX tried their best, but ultimately lost 2-0. In fact, in Game 1, Jing was the only member of PRX to drop more than 10 kills, 
And the European squad, led by IGL and K-pop stan Boaster, ruthlessly dismantled them. After getting bumped into the lower bracket, PRX faced the number one Chinese team, EDG. CGRS hops on Breach, and they squeak out a 14-12 win in Game 1. CGRS plays Sky again, and he's looking a little bit better. His flashes are more confident, and he even has a huge clutch to even it up at 6-6. That's a judge up close though, and he's handed over a gun, I believe. Spray transfer, CGRS pulling out miracles for them. Unfortunately, they lose Game 2, 13-9, but in the third game on Lotus, CGRS finally got to show his one-trick main, Gecko. With some awesome impact frags, as well as a few first kills, PRX took it 13-8 and earned a spot in the lower semis. Next up, PRX had NRG. With EG barely squeaking in and Loud exiting the playoffs early, NRG were the North American favorites going into Tokyo Masters, and for this series, many thought they were going to sweep. After all, NRG had been dominating all tournament, and their opponent had a streamer subbing in for them. <laughs> However, things didn't go as expected. On Energy's first map pick, Pearl, the game went all the way to 13-13 double overtime. CGRS was on Killjoy and having his best performance yet. On defense, he and Viper held down B-Sight with an iron fist, and it was almost impossible for NRG to break onto sight. This kept the game close down the stretch and brought us to this double overtime situation. On round 27, CGRS showed why he's more than just a streamer. On offense, with four seconds left, he had a decision to make. Either plant the bomb, impossible challenge, or find and kill Som. The only option, W game. There's not enough time to go for the plan. He's swinging around the corner. And he manages to get it done. Some with a shorty doesn't find him. Paper X, they take it to 14. You gotta be kidding me. I know Som gonna do something like this. As a content creator, in my mind, I believe that he's gonna do something like this for sure. After clutching the round, PRX wins on defense and takes the map. Map 2 is on Lotus, and NRG won 13-6. With their backs against the wall, PRX decided to go bind, and CGRS decided to play his patented Gecko. Playing his position perfectly, CGRS was a reliable fifth, fragging well and getting crucial picks. PRX managed to pull off the arguable upset and punch their ticket to losers finals. Now, if you told anyone before this tournament that you predicted PRX making it into losers finals, you'd be called a silly little goose, especially after losing their star duelist. However, there they were, facing evil geniuses for a chance to rematch against Fnatic in the grand finals. Unfortunately, while PRX put up a good fight and took the series to game 5 on Ascent, they fell short just before the finish line, losing 13-8 and getting knocked out in third place. Down the stretch, CGRS played very, very well. He got two 4Ks in the series and was fragging as you'd expect from a professional player. And while PRX didn't get the result they wanted, they certainly performed better than anyone expected them to. They were adaptable, they stepped up, and they played their hardest. Even watching some of the post-event comms, it's easy to see that PRX had a lot of fun at this event, as they W-gamed their way into lower finals. After Tokyo Masters, Something rejoined the roster and competed in Valorant Champions 2023, where they eventually lost to Evil Geniuses in the Grand Finals and earned a respectable second place. Sadly, CGRS didn't get to play. A couple of days after Champions, his Paper Rex contract was up, and he ended up leaving the team Take goodbye. Maybe, but. to quote, explore different options. The option he went with was a brand new team, made in Thailand, which he joined as their Sentinel player. With Myth coming in second at an off-season event, it's clear that this team actually has some potential to do well. And it'll be fun to see CGRS face off against his former teammates in the VCT Pacific League. Regardless of how well he does with his new team, there's no doubt that CGRS will go down in history as one of the most impactful substitute players in VCT history. Oh, and if you doubted him, here's the apology form. Gecko is the best Gecko I've ever played against. Hey, hey, there's only one man that, there's only one man that has that title. Who? Who is it? You want me to remind you again? Are you trolling? Or uh, do you know? No. You guys are flying.
This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to B, Pass, Retro, Shampoo, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Cloud and Steph for being our Diamond supporters. Happy holidays, y'all. If you want to talk to us, check out our Discord. If you want to support our channel and get info on unreleased videos, check out our Patreon. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah. Thanks for watching.